Okay, in this video, we want to graph this equation just to get a general idea. And we also want to get x and y intercepts for this. So let's get started. We hit menu, we'll just simply graph. So we do add graphs. And we want to graph this. So this is uh, negative x uh, squared. Then we have plus 3 times x plus 5. Uh, simply hit enter. Um, we can also zoom out. So menu, we go to uh, four windows, and then we go to four. Zoom out. And so this is our general shape. And that's all we want to do for this problem. Just get a general idea. And the next thing we want to do is find the x and y intercepts. So I'm going to hit add calculator. And in order to get the x intercept, let me just write it down. We'll call it and so first we want to get the x-intercept, then we want to get the y-intercept. So I'll just write this as, you know, just, get, just give us an idea, x-intercept. So first I'm going to get the x-intercept. And in order to get the x-intercept, if I hit menu, I hit algebra, I hit solve, the x-intercept is going to set y is equal to 0, and we solve for x. So we would have x minus 3 uh, squared. Uh, essentially y is going to be 0 so we can just say 0 squared is equal to 9 and we we want to get the x-intercept so we say comma x and so our x-intercept would be x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 6 so this was the x-intercept and so next we want to get the uh, y-intercept so we'll call it y-intercept and we do something very similar we will hit menu algebra solve but instead, we say that x is 0. So we'd say 0 minus 3 uh, squared plus y squared is equal to 9, comma y. We want to get the y-intercept, so comma y, where x is 0. We hit enter, and the y-intercept is y equals 0. And so that's all we need to do to get the uh, x and y-intercepts.